Today is Jishing's jewelry line launch. Jewelry line launch? Huh? <laughs> Aren't you a sweet talker? Jishing, what are you waiting for? Go with him. If you don't, I will go with him. <laughs> hey, let's go. I've asked Ren Yao for a day off. Uh, listen, guys. If you don't sell them all, then don't bother coming back tonight. We'll prove it to you. Huh? <laughs> These booths are better than I thought. It's called Tianyi Street. You can find international jewelry brands here. And there are many booths. But these booths are not normal. Most sellers are up-and-coming jewelry designers. They bring their pieces here to test if they're potential buyers. If you can do well on this street, it proves your designs have the potential to be famous. It's Eshine. I saw this one in a magazine. It's designed by Eshine's chief designer, Errol O. Oh. My future goal is to have her success and have many people feeling special when they wear my jewelry. You'll make it. Test it, you'll see. Shall we start? Designer Xia Jixing. Okay. Let's go. say you would buy from me? But it's really expensive. So in your heart, I'm not even comparable to a ring. Excuse me. Do you know the meaning of the word gem? Literally, gem is something that you hold dearest in your heart. So you have to ask yourself, what's the thing you hold dearest in your heart? Which stone shows true love, the expensive one, or the one bought from the heart? Do you want to find something trendy? Or a unique symbol of love that your beloved can afford? If you want to buy a unique symbol to remember your love, take a look at her pieces. She's a promising designer. Every piece of her work is the only one in the world. Uniqueness is guaranteed. This is so special. It suits you perfectly. <laughs> it's one of a pair. They're couple rings. For the girl's ring, I used olivine. In the Middle Ages, people thought olivine could dispel darkness at night, just like your boyfriend, because he can bring you brightness and warmth. Also, for the boys, I used topaz, which represents light and warmth. The setting is designed in the shape of a brick for unbreakable love. When wearing his couple ring, he will solemnly protect this relationship. How much? 
One grand. We'll take them. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> My first customers. What are they selling? Let's go have a look. Can you help us choose some? You could ask the designer. She made all of these. She's an excellent designer. You have to get to know yourself and then dress according to your style. So that can really show the real you. You're too young to wear extravagant jewelry. Which ones will you born? I can help you choose. She was born in March. Born in March. Aquamarine displays the beauty of the ocean. The color and the pattern are very lively and beautiful. It's a perfect match for you. Is it real, Jim? This one looks pretty. I want one too. Uh -huh. It's only a few thousand today. It's way less than what I earned selling counterfeits, but I'm happier. Happiness has nothing to do with money. And today, you sold your own products for the first time. The customers all like your designs. It's probably the first time that you made money from your own designs. Mm. Seeing my dream come true, it feels really good. You're just getting started. I hope you can beat companies like eShine someday and become a real world-renowned designer. Come on. I'm happy enough with what I achieved today. For real? This is your cut. Thank you for your help today. Really? I have a bonus? Hey, let me buy you dinner. Okay. There's a buffet over there. To reward your hard work, let's go somewhere fancy. I know the perfect place. Do you know the whereabouts of Tianqi and the girl? I used their car plate to track them down. The car is registered under the name of Li Guangming. He currently lives in Tomorrowland. The woman we saw with Mr. Zhong the other day is called Xia Zhixing. Now they both live at the fast food bar in Tomorrowland. This is Tianqi? These photos were taken at a Mr. Juicy contest held by the county government. Mr. Zhong represented Tomorrowland in the competition and won. What about this? The second era of Eshine is open to booths selling counterfeits in front of his family business? What's their relationship? Mr. Zhong and that girl, the two of them are a couple. According to my investigations, they're very close. They seem to have moved in together. There's another shocking fact about Miss Xia's background. Xia Zhixing was in jail for fraud and has just been released on probation. Years ago, she impersonated a famous international designer and has swindled in many places. She's been involved in several counterfeit jewelry cases. I suspect that fraudster duped Mr. Zhong. Zhong Tan Qi. I've worked so hard to conceal my real identity and work my way up at Eshine. But you fell in love with a liar so easily. You've made me look like a fool. You cursed my ability to have happiness. But now you are happy. I said you could do it. You saw how good you are today. Am I right? Huh? <laughs> Thank you. Let's go. Wow. Why bring me to such a fancy place? It's not just any restaurant. We met for the first time here, when I was dumped and you were arrested. This place marks our destiny. It has a special bond. So expensive. It's my treat, stingy girl. Let's go. Mr. Joe, welcome. We need a quiet place. This way, please.
welcome. Do you have any fresh truffles? The judge of the rug by ear. Good. Would like to have one pan seared foie gras with truffle and one Matsusaka steak. Yes. Hold on. That dish, the foie gras you ordered, I don't see it on the menu. <sighs> it's our special dish only served to webby guests. No to general customers. Then, how much is it then? 5,600. I want the cheapest kids combo. Okay. <laughs> Look, you are a thief, but you spend money like a prince. Luckily, you don't act like those rich people. <laughs> Jishing, listen. As we're now a couple, I have to tell you something about my family. I'm listening. Actually, I'm not the thief you think I am. And my dad isn't an alcoholic who forced me to steal. In fact, my dad is... <laughs> the president of Yishine, Zhong Wei. I'm his second son, Zhong Tianqi. Actually, I also have something that I didn't tell you. My family name is not Sha. My dad's surname is Wong. He only finished primary school. He started his business by selling rice. Now, he's the president of Formosa Plastics Groups. His name is Wong Yongqing. <sighs> what? Aren't we playing a bluffing game? Mine is more ridiculous, right? I, I'm not bluffing. I am the second heir of Yishan, Zhong Tianqi. If so, you should be in Milan watching jewelry shows. How did you end up here? <sighs> How do you want me to prove it? Hey, how about taking you to Milan to see some shows? Then you'll know I'm not bluffing. Hmm. Oh, Milan? I would be thrilled if we could go to Thailand. Hey, if we go to Thailand, we can stay at the Oriental. Go surfing and get a yacht. Watch us getting a tan, the sunshine will be fine. Don't worry, my family's one of the shareholders. We don't need to pay. Enough. I'm done joking. I'm hungry. <sighs> Miss, do you need anything else? No need. Check, please. Okay. You were like a pro today at Tianyi Street. You deserve more than just a street booth. The booth is just the start. After I've saved enough money, I want to open my own store. <laughs> You're ambitious. Good. As your boyfriend, I will help you achieve your dream. By the way, you said our relationship started here. But to me, this place is filled with sad memories. How so? Think about it. You proposed to someone and got rejected. And I got arrested by the police and lost Shasan at this place. Why don't we make some good memories together? Ladies and gentlemen, please pay attention. Ladies and gentlemen, please pay attention. I'm sorry to interrupt your meals, but don't worry. I'm not trying to sell you anything. Today, my girlfriend sold her own jewelry pieces for the first time. I want to celebrate with her, but if it's only me, I'm afraid it's too trivial for her to enjoy. So I'm hoping you can all help me. Jishing, can you feel it? <laughs> Thank you all. Now, I want to perform a song for her. A man used to cheat her with this song. I want to replace it with my version.
Now, let's welcome the lovely lady, the very talented jewellery designer, Misha Jishing. Jishing, on this very special day, I hope I can make all your wishes come true. Even if you want me to get all the stars from the sky for you, I will say, I do. No need to go that far. The star I want here is on your ear. Are you willing to give it to me? You know, this star really means a lot to me. You really want me to make such a huge commitment here and now? Would you please tell them to be quiet? It's a public place. They're seriously affecting the other guests. Can't you see that? Sorry, the gov complaint. It's bad to you. Really? Complaint, huh? I guess I'll give you my answer when we get home. I guess I can't share the answer with you all tonight. Sorry, it'll be our secret. beautiful diamond earrings. I want the love of my life to have the other one. You really want me to make such a huge commitment here and now? Zhong Tan Chi, how dare you? How dare you treat me like this? If I can't have happiness, there's no way I'll let you have it. A liar like you is not entitled to be happy at all. Miss Rafelsa printed out and bound. Send them to all the newspaper agencies using the express delivery service. Yes. Zhong Tan Chi, life is not as easy as you think. And you have no right to be fickle. Who is complaining in the restaurant back there? What a buzzkill. <laughs> I was hoping to give you the earring officially today. Doesn't matter. I asked for it myself today. I'll wait till you want me to have it. That would mean much more to me. This is for you.
It's late. What are you doing? Uh, tomorrow is the anniversary of Jisheng's parents' death. I cooked something they used to like. I want to pray to them tomorrow morning. My parents died in a car accident on their way to get me a birthday cake. So tomorrow is Jishing's birthday? Uh, How come she never mentioned it to me? Uh, it's a day of heartbreak for her. Who would want to talk about it? Uh, would it be okay if uh, you came back a little bit later tomorrow? Uh, why is that? Celebrate her birthday. No need. Young man. She stopped celebrating her birthday when she was ten because of what happened, okay? That was she lost. I want to make up to her. Oh? You want to celebrate her birthday? <laughs> How about this? You can go out and hang around or chat with some friends. Uh. Anyway, <laughs> just don't come back so early. <laughs> Fine, got it. A birthday party. You two have fun. Rest assured, I will come back. I promise. Uh, I promise. <laughs> huh. <laughs> More money to gamble. So great. Guys, wait for me. Tomorrow I'm playing poker. I will kick all of your asses! <laughs> Come back early tonight. Why? Because I've got something for you. Huh? Come back early tonight. Why? Because I've got something for you. Huh? <coughs> Grand Ming won't be at home tonight, so it's just the two of us. Hmm? <laughs> I'm off. Hmm. Don't forget, come home early. Mm -hmm. Huh? Joshua's dream. I will make it come true. Oh! Hey! What are you guys doing here? Mm. Last night you told us you were planning a birthday party for Jishin today. Cool. Check it out. I bought this party stuff. Party hats to wear, bells, drums, and cheering sticks. Hey! Stop, stop, stop! I called you guys to help me prepare a birthday party. I didn't order a circus show! Oh! What circus? We're serious. We bought all of this especially. Yeah. What else oh. do you want? I want to decorate Jishing's room with a galaxy. Hands off! Follow me and you'll see. Galaxy? See how? Uh, pretty, right? <laughs> yeah, nice. I'll take this. Uh, Your handsome boyfriend, why is he not here today? He is working in a car factory. With his salary in mind, we can save some money and then live comfortably in the future. <laughs> good. You two seem to have a good relationship. Has he proposed to you? <sighs> Not that quickly. But <laughs> yesterday, when he publicly confessed his feelings towards me in a fancy restaurant, someone interrupted it. What a shame. Hope you two get married soon. <sighs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. <laughs> You're doing great! What brings you here? Not bad for a knockoff. It's not a knockoff. Oh, yeah? Then why does this necklace look so similar to Cartier? <sighs> Take it or leave it. Don't waste my time. And you? Who do you impersonate? I quit it a long time ago. What do you want? Oh, let me guess. You are giving me a hard time because Tian Chi chooses to be with me. Ha, I guessed it. When Chen Chi and you were a couple, you didn't cherish him. Now you two are separated and you can't let it go. Chen Chi has his own life. Please leave him alone. I have a business run. You should leave Tian Chi alone. People like you get close to Tian Chi and latch onto him like a leech. What's your game exactly? 
What are you implying? You are the one who despised him because he was a thief and abandoned him, didn't you? I despised him? That's what Tian Chi told you? So, you're saying that I got it wrong, right? If you had not been so snobbish and dumb Tian Chi for the rich guy, why would Tian Chi have stolen your engagement necklace? You really don't know who Tian Chi is, really. Tian Chi is Tian Chi. You obviously know nothing, but still make up a whole story. Don't you know who I am? Chief Designer at Eshine. Designer Arrow O. You are Oyaru. Since you're kept in the dark, let me tell you the truth. You think that he's a poor thief, but he's actually the second heir of Isha, the most sought after bachelor and the only Asian racer in F1, Zhong Kanxi. He's actually the second heir of Ishai, Zhong Tan Si. I'm not the thief you think I am. You are a criminal yourself. I'm the only Asian racer in F1, Zhong Tian Qi. It must be your father who made you do it. Actually, my dad is Ishai's person, Zhong Wei. I don't know why you didn't know about Tan Qi's real identity. But apparently, he didn't tell you the truth about himself. Are you sure that he really likes you? I do love her, and I can't forget about her. If he likes you like he said he did, then why didn't he tell you? Who said he didn't tell me? Then why didn't you know? I... He's from a rich family. Why would he condescend to stay with you and live such a horrible life? As for what he said about falling in love with you, it's nothing but retaliation towards me for choosing to love his brother over him. If I hadn't met Yaru, I'd be in love with you. Tenchi stole the necklace at my engagement party for exactly the same reason. You should know better than anyone else. That necklace that he took is called the Queen Mary. Do you have any idea how much the company had to suffer because of this? You really think with all the giggling and selling stuff on the street, Tianqi would be satisfied with a mediocre life like this? Enough! Tianqi still has feelings for me. He also has a responsibility to his family. I won't allow people like you to drag him down. Enough from you! I don't believe a word you just said. Fine. Would you like to go and see Tianqi with me so he can explain it to you? I can assure you, if Tianqi sees me, he will definitely go with me. Feeling hurt, huh? Finding out that your boyfriend is actually a big shot, it's normal to feel inferior. You don't know how I feel. Don't I? Tan Chi gave me this car. He has an extremely high standards regarding cars. You can see that the seatbelt is longer than normal. Tan Chi is protective of me. If it was legal, Tian Chi would change mine to the four-point seatbelt. Don't understand? It's for racer's cars. He has good taste in cars. If you don't even know this, how can you say that you're his girlfriend? You know so little about him. Are you sure this is the right way? How could people even live in such a place?
What's this? How could Tianqi agree to pose for this disgusting poster? Jump, Tianqi! Don't you think this is a little unfair? Why is that? You tell me. I'm your boss, and you work for me, but you're setting tables? Huh, with wine and roses? I'm doing all the heavy lifting! Stop whining. Ah! Hey! Shh! Listen! The sound of an engine. <gasps> Must be sitting! Ah. Ah. She packs so early! What should we do? What should we do? I better find out! Wrap it up! Move quickly! Oh! Don't be shy. Ask Tian Chi yourself who he really is. Jing, you're home. How come you back this early, huh? Hey, did you skip work? Jing, huh? What? What's wrong? Zhong Tianqi. Yes? Did you hide anything from me? Huh? You know? Yeah, I know all about it. Wu and you are such a big mouth. I shouldn't have told him. You're not happy with it? Of course I'm not. You said your dad made you do things you didn't want to, so you ran away from home. Is it true? Of course it is. My dad forced me to be a thief. Do you remember? We got cuffed together and ran away. You said you were an F1 racer and race for a French team. True or not? Of course it's true. My Chinese name is Zhong Tianqi. My English name is Vernon Zhong. You think I'm an idiot? You said you were an F1 racer and race for a French team. True or not? Of course it's true. My Chinese name is Zhong Tianqi. My English name is Vernon Zhang. You think I'm an idiot? A rising Asian F1 racer, multi-billionaire, eligible bachelor, and the jewelry tycoon Eshine's second heir. That's who you really are, aren't you? I told you before, but you wouldn't believe me. Why didn't you tell me again? I really like you. I do. I didn't think that much about it. We still have plenty of time together. I'll tell you in the future. The future? You're Ishan's second heir. I'm just a nobody that's been to prison. Do we even have a future? Why would you think like that? How could I think it? What kind of person would run away from a rich family and work in a garage? Is it fun to play with me like a fool? Who I am has nothing to do with us. Is that so? A multi-billionaire bachelor went to work with me on the street and still ordered foie gras in a restaurant, watching me order the cheapest kids combo. Did you secretly mock me? Jishing! I told you who I was! You can't blame me because you chose to ignore it yourself! I did hide my real identity from you. It's my bad. I apologize. As for the meal, that's been my habit for years. I want to share what I like with you. Is that so bad? Or would you prefer me to hide that from you too and let you embarrass yourself? Oh. Okay. Now tell me, are you mad because I'm Zhong Tianqi or because I lied to you? <sighs> Who I am really upsets you that much? Your ex-girlfriend just drove me back. When she saw the poster you did for Tomorrowland, she thought you had done a stupid thing. I felt so warm in my heart that you were willing to sacrifice it all for nobody like me. But now my whole world is upside down. It turns out I'm not good enough for you. Who says you're not good enough? Who <sighs> Yaru? Oh, 
What did you say to Jishin? I just told her the truth. Can you deny being the second heir of Ishine? Even if I am one of the Jong, so what? I will confess to Jishin myself. I've left that family. Why do you come and interfere with my life? What are you going to prove? I came for your good. I can't let you drown yourself without giving you a hand. <laughs> Give me a hand. You're the least qualified person in the world to say that. I thought you were just ambitious about your career. Who would have thought that on meeting my brother, you'd seize the opportunity to become Ishine's boss lady? When I went missing, the only thing you cared about was whether you could get the Queen Mary back. You have absolutely no idea what love really is. Because you have no interest in love. Did you say that? Do you know how immature your behavior is? You thought I only cared about Queen Mary for my own engagement alone? Did you not? John Kanti, Ishine is having a financial crisis. For Ishine's 3,000 employees, whether or not the company will make it depends on the Queen Mary. You stole it on a whim. But do you know that it caused so much trouble for the company that we almost went bankrupt? Did you have any idea? Then in order to clean up your mess, Tianjin hasn't slept properly for an entire week. Are you aware that your father has been keeping you in the dark about his illness just because he didn't want to worry you? Did you know any of this? I knew you would never listen to me. Telling you I missed you and luring you out was the only way I could think of. I had no choice. Dad is sick. I came here especially to tell you about this. His condition is getting worse. As for you coming back home or not, that's up to you. Tianqi! Tianqi! Tianqi, don't go! Wait for me. Don't go! I like your honesty with your feelings. Both good and bad. Tianqi! And even like you like. Because most of the time they're white lies for the sake of other people. Just like what you said and did for me these past few days. <laughs> I seem to have fallen in love with you. Jishing, wait for me! Don't go! Jishing, on this special day, I hope I can make all your wishes come true. Don't go! Even if you want me to get all the stars from the sky for you, Don't I'll say go. I do. If I hadn't met Yaro, I'd be in love with you. Would you like to go and see Tan Chi with me, so he can explain it to you? I can assure you, if Tan Chi sees me, he will definitely go with me. The nearest star to the Earth is 4.3 light years away. One light year is more than 9 trillion kilometers, which means I had to cross at least 40 trillion kilometers before I finally found you, my one and only lucky star. From now on, I will be with you on each and every birthday. You'll always have me by your side.
Happy birthday, my beloved star. Your love, Tianqi. Tianjun, did someone send you a file about Tianqi? This file was sent to the company today. It contains some photos and articles. Photos include details about Tianqi and the girl he's been dating. Till now, we don't know who sent this, or what their intentions are. What a punk! What is this mess? And who's this cheesy girl that he's with? She's a total fraud. You got it too. Good, because I have a copy too, and I believe all media outlets also receive the same file. This is going to make headlines in every newspaper. Tianjun, tell the PR department to deal with it immediately. Huh? I'm afraid it's too late. E Shine's second heir is involved in a scandal with a grifter. All media outlets are trying to get more dirt on it. We couldn't get in touch with Tianqi. Could be a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? If it didn't affect Eshine, I wouldn't care less about it. No wonder. I haven't seen him since the engagement. Now he's hiding in the countryside, hanging out with an ex-con. <laughs>